Welcome back, everybody. Episode two of the yet to be named show all about me and my friends. I'm here at Layton Gaming with Marge. Hi, everybody. Marge, thank you so much for joining me here. She's here to inform me, a total and complete noob, about Disney Lorcana. So. Thanks for having me, I'm so excited. What is it about Lorcana that I need to know right now? You just need to get it. <laughs> <laughs> this um, TCG has made its way into everybody's hearts super, super fast. They keep releasing sets um, pretty often, and I think it is one that you need to get your hands on. Okay, so I've had my eye on uh, these booster boxes right here. Can you tell me a little bit about some of these other boxes? There's a lot going on on the shelf. Yeah, so if you kind of know a little bit of like, are you familiar with like other TCGs? Barely with Pokemon, Pokemon, yeah. okay. So what we were talking about earlier, um, these would be kind of, this one for example, Into the Inklings was uh, from, I believe, chapter three. And this one, for example, is gonna be what's closest to like an ETB. So okay. it'll be like play ready. Um, you get a few packs in here and you know, sleeves, promo cards right, and whatnot. Right. Um, I believe this one doesn't have a promo card actually. So it actually shows you right here. A lot of people like to collect the box too um, and keep it sealed as you guys know. So it, it's gonna bring um, all your sleeves, dice and a few packs there. Um, same thing with uh, the, the collector's edition. It's gonna be a little bit different just because it's gonna have a few I would say shinies, which is gonna be the closest thing to an enchanted, which, which you can touch on uh, later, so. Yeah, I got a lot of questions about yeah. enchanteds and everything, so. Um, but yeah, we have a, a couple of, a little bit of everything that is like play ready, if you wanna do it right now. Um, this one's gonna be a really good one is if you're a starter gamer, like if it's your first time playing the game, this is what's gonna be the first thing that you wanna buy because it actually comes with a full deck. Mm -hmm. So it's just a deck already, okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. So like you would buy one, I would buy one, and we can have a uh, match, you know? Cool. All right, I'm just gonna take this one right here. And uh, what we're gonna do is rip it and uh, give me some great cards, I think, is the goal here. And yeah. I wanna learn everything I can along the way. I'm excited. All right. Is this the one? Yeah, we're ready. we're ready. Let's go. We're here with this Ursula's Return booster box that I'm gonna rip and pull the biggest cards that we've ever seen. Uh, or that's that's the hope always. Uh, what, what, Marge, what am I looking for in this set? So the biggest hits are gonna be called an Enchanted. Um, typically, that's gonna have. And I'll give you an example. It's gonna have this logo right here on it. So it'll be kind of rainbowed and holographic. Um, depending on the character. The price will fluctuate. For the most part, it's going to be the shiniest card in the pack. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah. oh, here we go. Look at this. This is very sealed. Okay. All right. All right. Here we go. Let's see. Are these are these. Okay, there is. Like. So. Let's see. Let's just start flipping through. So I'm guessing that's like the common then. All right. Yeah. Uh, that's Stitch. Stitch. Got Stitch right here. So do you have any, do you go to Disney? Are you like a um, park goer? Yes, so oh, nice. on and off annual pass, I think, okay. for a while. Um, my wife, Larissa, and I go quite a bit. Um, her, her, father worked there for me, so oh, amazing. I've always been around it, and it's a uh, big Star Wars fan, so I want to go to Galaxy's Edge basically anytime. So, so you'll see some familiar, like, characters here for sure. Yeah, and I know most of us grew up on most of these movies, or have seen the recent ones. Uh, so I see a different symbol at the bottom of this card as compared to the comments. So this is going to be your common, and these are going to be uncommon. Okay, that's like a little book or something. Mm -hmm. or like a, so, okay, so there's a, we had a Mulan earlier. That's my favorite. Okay, so favorite. one is common and one is uncommon. Correct, yeah. Huh. I'm guessing they have different abilities and things like that. What is this one? This little bronze so, triangle. This is really awesome because this, this card in particular is special because this is 
what is this movie? It's Mercenary. And have you seen the movie? Yeah. So this is the first time that they showed Ursula in her form. Because obviously Ursula usually looks like this. So in chapter terrible. four, right. <laughs> in chapter four, it was the first time that they showed her as when she still wears clothes. That's cool to know. Rare. That's so rare is rare. the bronze yeah. triangle. So you have, you have your common, uncommon, rares, which is the triangles, and then you have your super rares, which is going to be the blue shell. So that's super rare. Okay. And that one's a good one. So anything super rare it, and up is good. Nice. We yeah. got Bell. We got Bell. And then you've got your legendary, which is gonna look just like that, but like a little shell and it's gonna be gold. Okay, so there's I'm guessing it where does enchanted fall? It would be the last one. Okay, so, so it just rare, is a different super rare and enchanted. Gotcha. And then this is what I need. I needed to see a little chart. <laughs> it's a helpful. It's helpful. <laughs> okay, so this is a. Uh, what would you wish to call the holographic then? So, um, in uh, Lorcana, the foil ones are called the foils, as opposed to like a hollow reverse hollow in Pokemon. But this would be a common foil. Anna is a high character, so you have a really well known character with a little top, so the card already, because it's her and it's foiled, has a little bit of more as far as the like value goes, right. but and probably playability, but as far as uh, like a big hit. Right, right. I see that common. We don't want the comments. Right. Unless you're completing the set or playing. Nothing wrong with that, but. Or you really love the character and you're in it for the art. Art, Art is really nice. Really yeah, yeah, it's really nice on these. It's done well. I like the Make the Potion one. This one is my favorite. Because foil is stars in Alright, let's pull it then. I'm not really separating these two well, but we'll keep <laughs> certain things. Alright, I'll go another one. We can both be still. You got this one? Can you give me a quick bit about this? <laughs> yes, yeah, so, um, so this is for the Illuminous Quest, which is that box I was pushing to you. Gotcha. Yeah, you can just do a... Uh... So, Illuminous Quest is that box right over there. Um, right, you showed me earlier. Yeah, it's actually really, really awesome because you can purchase that one and play yourself with... Ursula, which is okay. the one Right, so you don't need person. You don't need another person, which I think people haven't realized. But there's the other fun part. You can actually play with, with up to four players, and you guys all play together against Ursula, as opposed to a right. regular game where you're playing against each other. Yeah, it's fun. That's a good change of pace. Yeah, so so we've played board games like that. So. Yeah. So it's a really, really good one that I think people will have so much fun just check it out. Let's see. All right. Name, action there. Pluto. A lot of Pluto. Yeah. There you go. Magic Room. What is this one called again? Rare. Rare. <laughs> A rare Zeus. Probably the Hercules. And Hercules. I'm talking full. All right, getting better. I'm getting bad. better here. Well, what's in your yeah, bag? Like, you got to pull me something good. Like <laughs> Ursula again, different art, but same form. Gem mouth. I love this, like the yeah, Steamboat Willie style. Right. It's my favorite. Okay. Bruno Madrigal. We don't talk about it. We don't talk about it. Hey hey. Oh, hey hey. Um, Everyone loves hey hey. Everyone loves it. And that's it. And we have them in the club foil. 
The really cool thing about this, also this pack right here was a loose pack, so had we gotten a big hit, uh, the rate part for, for it are a little bit different as well. So I'll put this one out to the side. Um, and then another fun thing that I wanted to point out, these pull cards also make a picture. So we can yeah, do I that as we are ripping dealers. So I'll put the mine. <laughs> you might have to do all of this. Okay. Let's keep going here. And then every set, every Narcana set has uh, a picture of that. You know, that it makes for so a lot of people like this too. I have no idea. No, that's not it. That's not it. <laughs> we'll rearrange it. That'll I'm gonna the, leave it there for that'll now. That'll be the end. I'll think closer. about that after pulling something big here in a minute. So, what's the biggest card you've pulled out of? What color? So, I will say it was a pretty big moment for me because. I did the release of Chapter 4, Ursula's Return, with Andres, and it was so fun. Be sure to check that out. You can actually rewatch some of the break on Fanatic Live. And I was debating whether to get a whole box or not. I was on top of that adrenaline and like, you know, the release. <laughs> Well been there. Nothing is more special in my opinion than being part of a release because it makes you feel even more attached to the set. I don't know if you experienced that. No, I, I, I agree with that. I agree. So I decided not to after going back and forth and I ended up picking three single loose packs off of the loose uh, of the bar. And when I got home, I think it was like two in the morning, the night of, um, I, I opened one, I caught it on video, and I opened the favorite enchantment. Chanted out of a loose pack. Yes. And it was so awesome. My husband was not upset at me because he was like, I can't <laughs> believe you almost opened this without me. He yeah. was very happy with me. <laughs> so, hey, the magic can come from you. any, any you side, you know? It's great. Ripping with other people. Whether it's all in this, do this. So, I found another Ursula. How many, how many different Ursulas are there in this? So, remember I was telling you most of the art uh, looks like the original form because right. this is the new one. This is, after all, Ursula's Return. Okay. So, the set is basically a lot of Ursula. <laughs> gotcha. Two oh, Ariels really? back to back. Okay. And then uh, Prince Ariel. Okay, this is a good one? Yeah. Ariel is a really uh, good play of the form as well. Okay, back to back. I might have to start playing, I don't know. That wasn't the goal, but hey, you know, sometimes it just happens like that. And then. Yeah, Is that your pack or my pack? These are yours. Yeah. Okay, there's still mine? Yeah. All right. This is a really good one, too. Very thought after, playable card. <laughs> I gotta pull something unenchanted. Another Ariel, another Ursula. We, okay, we, we had this one in non. So. Okay. Getting somewhere here. Getting somewhere. I think we get close someday. Yeah. You gotta open that one. I feel like I'm pulling. Let's mm, do a little pack battle. Okay. If I win, I get to keep my pack. If you win, you can take one of my packs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've got Daisy Doug. Go Pascal. Yeah. Everyone likes Pascal. Naughty Bell. The, the Telesphere. Diablo, not the right Diablo. There's a pretty good Diablo in this set, but we're cooking. Swing into action and dodge. Scuttle. Everything else too. Nice. I got a, I got a Vita Vitalisphere. Aladdin. Okay, well. I win. I lose for sure. He's more famous. <laughs> <laughs> Diamond in the rough. There you go. What else about uh, Lokana have we not gone over yet? 
kind of want to hear about some of these cards you brought out of the showcase in a second. Because I, I want to know what I'm missing out on at this point. Yeah. <laughs> but, but we haven't hit all these cool cards. And, and, and Triton. All right, all right, all right. Other Mulan. There's a lot of Mulan. Oh, that's a different Ooh. symbol. Let's go on the legend. Katie. Katie's legendary. Amazing. We both pulled legends. I was holding off because I didn't want to pull with that. All right. See. You, yeah, you just jump past that. Oh. Piggly on the legend. Look at that. Amazing. I knew we were getting close to something good. So, legend art is what makes closest to a an enchanted. So, this is actually the same art of the enchanted that I pulled from okay. this set. Gotcha. So, it doesn't have the pretty swirl. It'll be like just the hologram. Yeah. yeah. All right. So you have the enchanted of that. You Correct. Pulled, you still yeah. have it? Yeah. Okay. I sent it out to get created with PSA. So I haven't received um, a receipt yet. You got it. You got it pretty well. It's for you. I know that. Oh, right. That is my Thanks for pulling that for me. Absolutely. Right. What's the chase in some of these other previous sets? What's like the biggest card you can pull out of a uh, I would say you've got two sides. I think same the same way it translates with sports. You you've got a door, really big hand of certain player, and then there's like I guess not much. But with with fading card game, is then that you have the really really open card. So it's like playability, rarity. Rarity is always a factor in any any card. So the value of this card, for example, could be. Two hundred dollars, and even though there's nothing shiny or special about it, because it's a loose cannon, it can be really high just because it's a right, crazy play. Yeah. You know what I mean? Gotcha. Um, but here, mm -hmm. hand me those, and I can kind of talk a little bit about. Okay. Uh, yeah, so, for example, this is a great example. We have. Okay, this is an enchanted from chapter one. Uh, the way that you'll be able to tell which chapter it's from, we can say it right here. And then okay. One. We have the number of the card and one. Now, this uh, set that we're opening is from chapter four. So this is a card from chapter four, and it will say E N four. Right. So these are actually two of the biggest hits from each set. Yeah, there's some nice price uh, tagged on these. Yes. <laughs> so I'm yeah. trying to get. <laughs> yes, there is. So let's talk about this one in particular because we have a price tag of 900 dollars for example, but it's lightly played. So that means that someone has played with it a little bit. It's been... So it's worth 900 used in some of the Correct. So imagine opening it out of a fresh, crispy. Um, and then we have one like an aerial card, which is one of my favorites. Um, Price that two forty five raw, and then obviously like this one. Once you can get it graded, the value of which is up a little bit more than we get. Um, this is probably one of this one is the mini. I believe are one of the top pieces for chapter four. Um, and then you have one like this where, for example, you the value of the card might not be as much, but then you have the signature of the artist. So that really is, is, it, is that pack open or is it signed after the fact by the artist? By the artist. Oh, I do like that it's similar to Pokemon where there's like characters that you see over and over and um, this, different forms of it. Right? So you have like the. the that, that's what I mean. Is like the artwork is different depending on the the rarity. So some that we were looking at earlier. Yeah, I noticed it, like second pack. I was like, this Mulan is different. Yes. And all these, all that Ariel, and show me that. That's a possibility here. Try it. <laughs> is there a way to tell immediately which open a pack what you have? Like yeah. rarity, you just have to peek at it. So, for example, if you pull them, this is like the easier way to break or the faster way to break. I can already tell that there's no enchanted here, but there might be a legend. Try and see. You can see the foil. Yeah. But the other one we shiny on. Oh, okay, I got you. So it's like a full bleed then. Yeah. Wow. 
like you'll, you'll know when you get it in check. Well, now you tell me that, I'm only gonna look at the back of the pack every time. <laughs> every time. And I believe that you can also get, um, I believe that you can also get, I'm not sure what they were part. So, I'm guessing the, are those really rare? Yes. So they'll be in these, too. Jeez. I'm gonna flip back through all of this. I know. I'll be busy all night with this one more kind of booster box. I still like that I'm seeing new characters and new cards that weren't in the first few. It's always fun to have bigger sets. Off the top of your head, how many uh, cards are in this set? Oh, you mean... Like, variations overall. Come on, Morris. You've got a few more packs. I believe you have. I believe in us. It's gonna be you that pulls a big card, if anything, I think. People don't know this about me because I'm working all the time. Oh, wait. So cute. The wing. Amazing. Oh, yeah. Bouncy, shabby. That's so, the first example, rare one of Actually, no, it's not. You pulled another one, but it was like not in the oil. So you can oh, have okay. two of the same one. Like foil, let's say these are the second the same. You can have same the same uh, logo and label, but foil and not so I'm gotcha. the foil one. Okay. I'm I'm getting there guys. I'm getting there. Comment below if you play Larkana or if you would like to learn how to play Larkana and really what's stopping you from learning. Yeah, well like let me know what you guys think about Larkana TCGs in general. Um, I know uh, Satan Gaming used to be in the same building as Layton Sports Cards once upon a time. And I was able to keep up a good bit because I would just bother, you know, the, the, the gaming breakers all the time. I'd ask all the questions, I'd see the products, I just pound them. But now that you guys have this beautiful shop, I, uh, <laughs> I don't get that opportunity. <laughs> just what I need is more things to spend money on and collect. Honestly, that's, that's what I was missing, is uh, that. <laughs> Listen, on Bundle. Saturdays, you can come on in and learn how to uh, play Lorcana. There's a wonderful community here. Uh, I'm going to come in here and get home with you. Aurora is a good one on the, fo on the, on the, uh, on the foil. Is a good one too. Get one of these. So how many commons are there? Six? Seven? Mm -hmm. Does it every bank? It could be more. Yeah. Okay. You can get like a common foil. Yeah, even when they're like commas are, they're still really pretty. Yes, that's the thing. Like, I enjoy collecting them just because I'm like, oh, this is my favorite. I'm just going to it. You know? Oh, absolutely. We all like that's the thing about having a favorite character or even just card in general. Um, I know my wife always has transparent phone case and has a new card like in the back of it all the time. But she sticks to Pokemon and fire types. So. I was, I would always choose. I was like the one person I'd always chose Bulbasaur as their starter in the original. Yeah, the first Pokemon game point now. So I was that kid. When everyone else was using Squirtle and uh, Charmander, I was taking Bulbasaur. Pete, and the Malone. All right. Is that the last pack. Last pack for you. Let's I've got see you pull something good for yourself. So I got two single packs aside from Boris's booster box uh, from the bar at the front. Let's see if I have any left. I'm hoping. One of us has to pull something, right? Right? I'll have to restart the episode on the box. Unless it's hard for you. Dang who under the sea and the Mulan very fitting for me since she's my favorite character on the author moment there. And then I've got one more. It's this one. This is my last one. Right away. Same. Mm. I got okay, actually, Glenn. I lied. Oh, let's go the queen. I got the queen legendary. Nice. I lied. Good stuff. <laughs> That's a really good card. We'll take that. We'll take that for sure. Another legend. Amazing. Okay. I, I feel like that's an okay box. A few, uh, three? For the amount of legends you got, yes. 
it is a pretty good box. Okay. Yeah. We're doing we're doing okay, everybody. No, so good. So no, we're not feeling down. We're not feeling no, down. this is really really good. I have one last pack. This is from um, Into the Inklands, which is a chapter three. The one right before this one, and I got it from the singles one, and I was like, yeah. Let's see if we can extend some of this magic. On the spot. Let's hit you a big heart. Pack is thicker on that one. Feels more durable. I'm not gonna peel. I'm just gonna hopefully be surprised. It's a little hard. It's different. So it is a lot different. It's like it's like its own characters. The Ursula. This is even her set. Yeah. She's in all of them. Look at that. There you go. So another legend. Old foil legend, lucky nine. <laughs> Very nice. That is your card. No, I want you to keep it. You keep it. No, that's your card. That's your pack. He's gonna throw my stack. All right, if you say so, just grab it. All right, thanks for the Head over to the singles bar and just. <laughs> so a lot of cash. Now let's see if we can put this puzzle together. Oh boy. That, if, if there's anything that's gonna be more difficult than pulling an enchanted, it's that. I don't even know where I put all of them. I think I, I have some there. I guess I separated them all. Oh yeah, look, I have a little pile. This is, um, it's a mess right now. Very nice. <laughs> this is how it goes if I'm like, if the camera isn't rolling, I'm just packing cards everywhere. I set aside a mew. All right, let's see if we can, uh, is there a, like a, is like a cheat to cheat? There's only a guide. So it does have a border, so I would say let the border speak to you. There you go. Okay, right, we have a dupe. This is already there too. So... Just like this. That looks good. Okay, so there's only... It's six. I'm sorry, nine. Oh, is it nine? Yep. That would be... <laughs> I want to see that <laughs> on the side. Yeah, everyone's laughing right now. Laugh it up, everybody. We're just gonna put together a nine-piece puzzle. <laughs> hey, I went to Florida public schools. So I'll tell you all. That's, that's all y'all need to know. Ooh, okay, almost there. So we're missing the middle piece then. Because it's just roaming. There's, there's a little pile right there. Well, that's the thing. You can have opened an entire booster box and still not have a There it goes. Unlikely, but there you go. Yeah. I, can, I can put together the puzzle, okay? My yeah, that one has a big price tag. That's the one. That's I, I gotta know. Let's talk about it. So. This Mickey Mouse is actually really, really interesting because this one was the first promo card that was finally released at the, I believe, 2023 yeah, the Disney Expo when they first talked about the trade. The first so this is the first card that they made? Essentially. So everybody that went to the Expo and made the line and was there for the <laughs> Got one of these. You can't pull it from any box. So if you weren't there, you weren't there. That's something that happens frequently in, in uh, trading card games, by the way, is lines on release day. Yes. <laughs> it happens a lot here. Yeah. So this is a Mega 8.5, price that 50. Probably could be a little bit more. So like that's not a good grade, right? Like an 8.5 isn't, you know, you want at least a 9. You want 10s, but anything under, anything under 9 doesn't help typically as far as between raw and trading. I feel like that's a different kind of card. It's so rare. It is rare, and if you notice, it's not even... It's just a... Yeah. Yeah. But not a lot of people got their hands on this, so the rarity of it because it makes it you know what I mean? Right. Um, can you imagine this in a tent? I'm gonna look that up with the gun. Yeah. Hey. I know. 
And it's Beckett. Can't go wrong. Looking at Chanted again, thinking about actually pulling one next time. <laughs> It'll happen. I'm going to pull one eventually. Let's run it back. Cut. I'm going to, next release, I'm getting the case. I'm going to have to pull it back. Yes, I'm going to have to. It's my and I'm going to Alright, I'm going to line up. We're gonna line up just like everybody else. All right, wrapping up here. The box wasn't that bad. Um, we hit some cool legendaries. We had Hades, the Queen, Piglets, um, and what was this one called again? Noi. Oh. And the rarity. Super rare. Super rare Noi cold foil. Um, so that was the best I hit. I feel like I learned quite a bit. Uh, you were super informative and helpful. So thank you for joining thank me you. for this. Um, you can find Marge on Instagram at Pixelated Marge. And you can find Leighton Gaming um, here in Altamont Springs, Florida. LeightonGaming.com is the website, and they're always breaking up Fanatics Live. Here at Leighton Gaming, we have a different night for each TCG, so definitely be sure to check us out. Thanks, guys. That's it for this episode. Episode 3 coming up soon.